two teaspoons of Cajun powder, two teaspoons of Italian powder. Italian powder's not a thing. Neither is Cajun powder. <laughs> Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to make deep fried pickles with a creamy dill dipping sauce. Thank you so much to The Film Game Night for teaming up with me and sponsoring this video. This episode is all about one of my favorite game night snacks, deep fried pickles, because James and I are so excited to see the new upcoming film coming out February 23rd. This film stars two of my favorite actors, Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman. Okay guys, does anyone else have a huge crush on Jason Bateman like I do? Ah, <sighs> Jason Bateman. Anyway, this film is about a group of friends that regularly meets for a game night and then they find themselves in a real murder mystery. The trailer looks hysterical and I cannot wait to see it. If you've never tried deep fried pickles, it is time to step up to the board. Get it? Like a board game? Step up to the, get it? I know it sounds weird, but the combination of like the tart dill pickle with the crispy batter and then the creamy dipping sauce is to die for. You are going to love these. All right, let's get cooking. The first thing we are going to do is heat up our oil. Now I have a deep fryer and I'm going to heat that up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you do not have a deep fryer, you can also use a large pot with at least three inches of oil. While the deep fryer is heating up, I'm going to whip up just a quick beer batter. You can also do this with soda water if you don't want to use the beer, that's really up to you. To a large bowl, I'm going to add two cups of flour, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Really using seasonings from opposite ends of the world here. Two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of baking powder, and that will help it really to like fluff up and give a nice fluffy batter. One teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, or just ground up pepper that you have. It doesn't need to be freshly cracked. We're not pepper snobs around here. And that's all of your dry ingredients, so I'm just going to whisk that all together until it's combined. In a small bowl, I'm going to add half a cup of aquafaba. Now, if you don't know what aquafaba is, aqua means water, faba it means beans, so you have bean water. All you need to do to get that is open up a can of chickpeas, drain out the water, and use that. And it's an amazing egg replacer if you want to like find things while you're baking or frying, or if you want to make meringues, you can whip it up. It whips up exactly like egg whites. You learned something today. The more you know. Anyway, back to our recipe. We're gonna whisk up the aquafaba until it's foamy, and that will help the batter stick together really nicely. Now that our aquafaba is foamy, we are going to add that to our dry ingredients along with one and a half cups of beer. Now you can use a lighter beer or a darker beer. I prefer the lighter beer. Don't worry, there's lots of vegan beers out there. You can just do a quick Google search and you'll find out if the beer that you have at home or the beer that you wanna buy at the store is vegan or not. Now very slowly and carefully, we are going to mix that together. You want the chemical reactions to happen and you want it to become nice and fluffy so you don't wanna beat it too much. So just whisk it until there's no lumps. You can use pickle medallions. I've decided to use pickle spears. So I just bought dill pickles and cut them into quarters. You can also do halves, dry it with a paper towel. The key here is that the pickles are dry. If the pickles are not dry, the batter will not stick. And then you'll just have a deep fried pickle without the crunchy, delicious batter. And you don't want that. That would be a disaster. Disaster. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Now that we have our batter, we can deep fry these guys. All you have to, she's very excited. <laughs> Too bad you're not getting any. Oh, I'm sorry, you'll, you'll get a little taste. Working in batches, you just wanna to toss the pickles into the batter and using a fork, drop them into your hot oil. You wanna cook those for two minutes on each side or until they're golden brown. After three to four minutes or when the pickles are golden brown, you can just take them out with a slotted spoon or a set of tongs and throw them into a paper towel lined bowl or plate. And then you can serve these guys on a plate next to a creamy dill dipping sauce which I'm gonna show you how to make right now. This is one of my favorite dips. It's so good, it's so easy to make. I just used it with ingredients I already had at home. It takes literally two minutes. The first thing we are going to do is add one cup of vegan mayo to a bowl. You can buy that from the store or you can make your own. I have a recipe in my cookbook. Where's my cookbook? This cookbook right here. You can make your own vegan mayo. Add four teaspoons of dried dill or if you're using fresh dill, you can use two tablespoons, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then we're going to add one chopped green onion, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and whisk that all together. And then you have a delicious creamy dill dipping sauce for your deep fried pickle.
And there you have it, crispy, tangy, deep fried pickles, perfect for your game night. Or also just to put on the side of like a burger or to garnish your Bloody Mary. That's also a game night staple around here for us. Let's give these guys a taste. Mm. It's crispy. It's a little bit vinegary from the dill pickles. It's a little bit oily from being deep fried, but vinegar like cuts the oil. It's so, it's so good. If you like pickles, you are going to love these. I could eat this whole thing to myself. And I think I might. All right guys, if you like this recipe, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what your go-to game night snack is in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out Game Night. It is in theaters February 23rd and I have linked the trailer in the description box below if you wanna check it out. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you get to see my face and my food home every single week. I'll see you next time. Bye.